we're now live. Today is still Tuesday, and this is a surprise live. I hope I can see comments. I'm doing it with a different system. I'm using my webcam because it seems to stay in focus a little better. I've been doing some test runs. So since this morning, nothing much has changed other than the ribbon has dried. In fact, I gave it an extra layer of spray stain ground espresso because the other one didn't go dark enough. And I've now glued everything in place so that I can build my shadows. I think I might have added a few highlights since I glued it. I suddenly realized I forgot that I said I would, that I would, um, hi for, um, I forgot that I said I would record this and pop it on my YouTube. So I thought, well, instead of just recording it, I might as well do it live and have a bit of fun and see who's around. And yeah, so this is completely unplanned on my schedule as such. So this is as far as I got this morning using Finn's rust paste, her matte waxes, and some of her um metallic waxes and then some of the new stamperia waxes so i'm going to now add shadows because i feel it needs to just pop a little bit more and i'm going to use some black acrylic paint which is water-based it's a it's black chalkboard paint from south africa it's all i have to hand because remember people we are basically using what we have and um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a little bit of the paint and i'm going to dilute it i seem to have a cat hair how surprising i'm going to just dilute it slightly and i have got my highlights coming from the side so my shadows all need to be on the left hand side i'm going to start by just putting it under there and i'm just using a watered down black and a skinny brush and i'm just building some shadows and dragging them out if i go too dark i'm just going to use a dry brush and fade it a little bit it's a little bit awkward without getting my head in the camera to see what i'm doing on that side over there but i'll try so shadows would be underneath because we've got the light coming from here and again I'm just going to drag it out and build some shadow on this side of my seahorse as well and you'll notice as soon as you put the shadows in it really starts to pop it's a bit like when you put if you're painting a portrait and you put the shadows in and then you also put the white in the person's eye so this still needs a few more highlights but not a lot but it definitely needed these shadows I'm gonna go a little bit darker in there so I'm adding and just moving the paint around so now on on my metallic piece from midform castings i'm not i'm going quite bold and then i'm going to take most of it away again and for that i'm also going to use my finger right and that needs a shadow and it needs some working out again whoops this is starting to get too wet so now this is interesting i'm looking to see on my screen um i can't see who else is watching it's completely different using my laptop to using my ipad and phone so i can't see who's in the house can i see anything else can i see no that's just scrolling that okay well i'll just keep i'll keep going 
So one of the things that I'm doing with this whole lockdown thing is pushing myself to learn a little bit more about technology and so on. And on Saturday, I joined uh, Karen and Talmia. I don't know how, I actually meant to ask her when I spoke to her earlier how to pronounce her surname. Anyway, um, and Finnebear and a whole lot of other creatives on YouTube for the first time. I'd never done a YouTube live before and I couldn't for the life of me get the flipping thing to go live. I could see that I, according to the internet, I was live, but the button kept disappearing for me. Anyway, eventually I did get on and, um, and worked. So today, Karen and I worked through what the problem was because she had never experienced that before and she does a lot of YouTube stuff. And it turns out that they've obviously upgraded something and suddenly hers was doing the same thing. But in the meantime, I had discovered that if you go to the top left hand corner where those three little lines are and you press the menu button, suddenly the screen changes and you can see your go live button again. Oh, what a relief because really I found that so stressful. I do these Facebook lives every day. It's really not a problem. I'm quite happy to hop in and do Facebook lives. But YouTube's a whole different ball game. I've been uploading all of these to YouTube so that they don't disappear. Because of course, your Facebook page carries on, and um, you your stuff sort of disappears. So what I'm doing as I'm chatting to you, because I have no idea who's there, um, is I am adding shadows in the areas where shadows would fall if the light was coming from this side. So I'm just adding it with my little brush and softening it with my with my stiff bristled hog hair brush. Okay, so I've done that side. Need to just work a little bit more along there and work it away. And add some shadow down the side and work it away. And add some shadow under here. under my tap. Now I had to raise my tap. I still don't, I actually haven't done an experiment to see if this would work. Because my tap and that were joining together, when I close and open my book, there, it does work. I needed the pipe and the tap to not clash. So, okay, that worked. Okay, my shadows are looking really good. They're making my images pop. So I'm quite pleased about that. And again, I'm going to drop shadow on that side. Okay, so let's take some of it along the bottom of my What do you call this? It's a ribbon, but it's a, it's a, yeah, ribbon. It's the tie. And I brought that down too far. So thankfully it's got water in so I can blot it. And put some back. And because I'm now working on top of the wax, it doesn't want to stick because there's a lot of wax over there from this morning. That's the thing. Water does not like oil. So that's just something to bear in mind 
when you are working. If you do still need to use water-based paint, then it would be preferable to do your shadows and things before, well, you can't do it before, because that would be impossible. I'm going to just highlight in there, rub off the excess, highlight, shadow. Where am I coming with the word highlight? Okay. Hi, Buzz. I'm just adding some shadows to this morning's project because tomorrow is shopping day. I try and only leave the building once a week, although I did leave the building this morning to go and get some potting soil because being spring here, I'm wanting to get the garden looking nice. And in fact, today was rather warm outside. It started off at four degrees, but went up to 20, which was lovely. And Kitty Cat spent his whole day outside, which apparently wasn't enough. He'd really like to go outside again. He's really enjoying the freedom of the sunshine. We put up some cat netting so that he can't, in theory, get over the fence. He hasn't tested it too hard because I think he's just enjoying being in the sunshine and the freedom of the garden. And I must say, Andrew and I are enjoying the fact that we're not having to stress and watch him so ridiculously hard because yeah, the road is busy and um, yeah, so he is used to being a roaming cat and has not been too charmed with his housebound life. So that's the supervisor. Dear Mr. Supervisor, we called it, we nicknamed him the supervisor because he was always checking up on me and taking over my desk. If he has half a chance, he's on my desk. So I'm just adding these shadows from as though the light is coming from this side and from the top and where I've got lots of wax I'm adding not so much water because of course as soon as I've got water in my paint it doesn't want to stick no more. Okay, so I'm going to use neat paint on all this wax over here and then I'm going to soften it out and sometimes fingers are the best for that. Fingers are amazing tools, don't forget about them. Wiggle it just a little bit. And then this will need a little bit of shadow on here. No, don't mess on there. Let me just see if I go on my Facebook, on my phone, if I can see who's in the house. I have six people watching. Carol, what a lovely surprise. Angela, Roz, Mary, Mike. Okay, so doing a trial run of using my laptop for this and um, my webcam to see if it will focus better and stay in focus because I've been finding that with my phone, the video goes in and out of focus quite a lot. Hi, Mariana. And um, yeah, so 
this was just a surprise live as much as a surprise to me as to all of you i can promise you because i just decided instead of recording it on my phone and then uploading to youtube it would be much more fun to just go live just like that go live okay so i've just put all my shadows in i wonder if it will work yes it's going to work on the fabric as well and this needs a bit of shadow where this guy is and in fact i'm gonna make it dark where the join is with this mold from stamperia um so that i suppose so that it's not too weak there's a join in the plastic over here okay have i now got shadows on all the same sides hi Liz. um yeah so now i want to put in a little bit more highlight and i did put some highlight as a bad bad girl i did put some highlight on before I went live and was getting quite carried away when I suddenly realized, whoops, I did promise people that I would record this. So, and for these lovely highlights on this side, I used the Stamperia metallic pink. And then underneath here, underneath the key, the, the clock key that I have added to it, I used some metallic turquoise. And I'm just going to pop that. There was water in there this morning. I think there's still a bit. Pop that in there. Clean that up. And pop that in some water. And see, have I got another little brush? Yes, I have. And I'm going to add some highlights to... Um, what needs highlights still? The art needs a highlight. And my clock could do with some more highlighting. No, don't go in there. Okay, I'll have to fix that up later. I'm being small brush challenged. It's getting where I don't want it. And the whole point of the small brush is to be a little bit more in control so what I'm doing is I'm enforcing the highlight and I'm gonna do it on all of these bring it down let's see maybe my finger will work better on these straight edges oh such a big finger and such a little pipe no that's not working either um, what do I want for those? Those need a little bit more. They need some shadows. So I'm going to use, I want some brown because I think black. Okay, I'm going to use some of Finn's rust paste. I'm just using a little bit of the, and to create, so these were done using foam and Tim's pipeline dye. And so I created the illusion of 3D by adding shadows. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to, these are some snip art um, laser cuts, laser chipboard. And I'm putting the dark right up against the what would be a raised join. Hello, Approver. Back. I'm back. I promised I'd record this and I am. I was going to do it just straight into YouTube, but somehow that's just more difficult than doing a Facebook Live. And there's not much else to do other than maybe clean the flat today we didn't have any water and finally oh my word they were drilling so much today it felt like a dentist in my head hi karen they finally finished drilling 
it really, I got so agitated. It was really exhausting. As I say, I have no idea where they were drilling. I'm hoping that it was to sort the water leaks out that we've been having and that there won't be so much drilling for the next few weeks. Because really, I, when this all started and I started doing these Facebook Lives, um, I thought, really? How, how long could they carry on? Well, apparently, long. So I'm just adding finishing touches to this cover on the outside by adding the shadows underneath where you can see the pipe joins and keeping all my shadows to the left hand side. Hi Blanche! <laughs> I'm pleased you could make it. It's just a an unscheduled Facebook Live because I want to finish this off but I promised I would do the shading for you guys. Short on your internet data, oh dear. Okay, well, you can catch up anytime. I will put it in my YouTube channel. I'm getting better at YouTube and thanks to Karen for her help earlier. Um, I've decided I really need to get to grips with a few more things and technology. So I will be going live on my YouTube channel this Saturday again. Together with After Finn. Right, so I think that's got some nice shadows going on. Now I'm going to put my highlights on. Oh dear, somebody's printing. Sorry, I have the printer on my desk. Um, somebody's printing something, so excuse that noise in the background. Um, I'm going to put, can't see who's giving thumbs up, but thank you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Blanche. Um, um, using stamp Oh, don't shoot everything. Because, of course, I wasn't, oh dear, we'll have to sort that out. Because my, my stuff is now all in the way of the printer. So where it would be raised, it would be catching the highlight. So I'm just putting this highlight on top. And there we go. So last little bit there and there. And let's see, maybe there would be some highlight on this side because the sun would catch this side as well. Maybe I need a bigger brush. A big, big uh, brush. Oh no, those are all wet because I did wash them from this morning. Good, good girl. I hate washing brushes. Oh, this one's got such a long handle. Okay, let's see. That one should do. So I've got this balanced at the moment on two books simply because it's got its ring in it already because it's reduced down from a folder. There we go. So this side would also be catching the light. Hi Christiana. You haven't well this is a you haven't missed too much from tonight. And um You'll be able to go on my YouTube channel and, and catch it all up because, oh, it's on my Facebook page as well. This is an unscheduled live. I'm just putting the highlights on where I feel it could do with a little bit more. Because I've put the shadows on. So I've, as usual, done my shadows all on my left-hand side. And now I'm just building my highlights. Yeah, it's probably better to watch it on YouTube later. So let's just flip the buckle back. This is the piece left over from the clock that I snipped from my other album 
and I'm going to just I'm just building the highlights. Almost done, actually. Hi, Shaman. Hi, Radovan. So, yeah, this was just a, a surprise. As much to you guys as to me, I can assure you. I just want to soften that shadow area. Okay, what more do I think I need? I think I'm done. I think that's it. No, maybe this could do with a bit more shine. So I think I'm going to use, I'm going to go for some of my Opal Magic. And I'm looking for, that's my green. Opal Magic is a clear wax with, um, mica in it and so it won't change my colors so much but I want okay so I'm gonna let's see what this green one does and do I have any soft brushes left I have a million brushes people a million and I kid you not I have a whole box that came with me from South Africa but they're all far away on the other side of my studio okay yeah I got some I'm going to try some of this um, turquoise satin. Hi, Natalie. Other Natalie. Natalie Chantry, and I've got Natalie Tennyson. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this, and I'm going to start on the highlight side because I want that side to have the shine. Because I've just spent a little while putting all my shadows in on the left hand side. But I just want him to be a little bit more shiny without changing his colors too much. Because I used the matte waxes on him this morning and they're rather lovely. But I'm just feeling like he's a little bit dull. So I don't think the camera picks this up too well. But I will take photographs and I will post it on my page. There we go. Okay. And I wonder if I put a little bit on there just to pick up the wording a little bit more. Because this is iridescent, so it will, as the light catches it, I don't know if you can see that a little bit better. As the light catches it, it is shiny. So I think that's done. Thanks for popping in and watching my surprise live. And I will see you on Thursday. Thursday I'm going to be doing acrylic painting so i'm splitting my weeks up for my facebook lives into monday and tuesday are crafting wednesday is my shopping day and get the house sorted out the day before my family divorces me and thinks that i just live in my studio for lockdown which they're not far wrong it's much more fun to be in here than be doing housework so thursday and friday i will be doing painting proper painting as in acrylic painting Thanks for popping into my live, guys. Bye.